Hey guys, Super 7 has a line of Power Rangers coming out. I don't think it's out yet, but I can show you what the turtles look like so you kind of know what to expect. They certainly give you sufficient packaging. Some of these figures I bought from Big Bad Toy Store. This wave I think I ordered directly from Super 7. So with the turtles, it's like they took the toys you had as a kid and then reimagined them for adult collectors. Original turtle collectors probably remember this, so they gave you the weapons as though you're buying the original Playmate toys, but they also gave you updated, fully painted versions as well. A lot of the figures come with an alternate head. April actually got three heads. All right, let's take a look at the latest wave. The latest TMNT Ultimates wave includes Donatello, so now all four turtles are available. Muckman and Joe Eyeball, one of my favorites. Mondo Gecko, which is really one of my all-time favorites. Love Mondo Gecko. And Casey Jones. This is the latest wave. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. So here's Mondo Gecko, and now here is his replacement head. Mondo also includes a total of four sets of hands. You can really get a lot of cool poses out of him now. When I was a kid, I loved dinosaurs, lizards, things that were very colorful. When I saw Mondo Gecko, it was just love at first sight. I loved this figure. And I remember kids back in the day not liking him because he didn't come with any weapons, which I kind of thought was sad. It's just such a fun, cool looking figure. And Super 7 did a great job with him. All right, next is another favorite of mine, Muckman and Joe Eyeball. And this version has lots of additional paint detail that the original didn't have. But like the original, you can still put slime in him. I love that. <laughs> I still like putting slime in things. I was very afraid of ruining him at first, but it was fine. He's clean now. But don't get Muckman confused with Mutagen Man. I've heard putting slime or even water in him will ruin him. So don't do that. And Muckman's a big figure. He's twice the size of the original. Nice detail on the back as well. Here he is in relation to the turtles. And also in relation to the Lightning Collection Power Rangers. I think he's actually a pretty decent monster size. Like he doesn't tower over them, but he looks big. That's what I wanted from Lightning Collection. I'll do a few size comparisons with the originals. Here's Bebop, Donatello, Mutagen Man, and Casey Jones. Don't these look fantastic? These are the Super 7 Ninja Turtle Ultimate figures. Again, I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. The Ultimates make the originals feel so small. <laughs> right? Eh? I really don't have many complaints with these. These are pretty fantastic, but... Um... Eh -heh. Is my Muckman a little bit defective, or do any of you guys have these? Is his leg this loose for you? Yeah, the originals, the articulation was just right there. That was it. So, you know, the, these have definitely been updated quite a bit. You can look up and down and left to right. Joe Eyeball is fully painted. His banana brain comes off, so you can put slime in his head and come out of his mouth. And also, if you put it, ah, making a mess. In the trash can, it'll come out of his stomach. He does come with alternate hands, which I think are actually a little bit easier to, <laughs> which are a little bit easier to replace than the Lightning Collection, and I'm less afraid I'm gonna break them. The alternate hands have like uh, the slime, so he, he couldn't hold his gun, but if you wanted him to have slimy hands, isn't that cool? But yeah, especially for a figure that's this big and heavy, they really couldn't have done a better job with that leg. This leg isn't as bad. So I don't know if mine is just defective or if they're all like that, but yeah, that, that's a shame. But otherwise, these are really fantastic. Expensive though. Expensive, very detailed, big, heavy, lots of accessories. And I'm very excited about some of the upcoming releases. I love the undercover turtles. Of course I had to have that. Uh, I, I love what they did with uh, Mike the Sewer Surfer. Ace Duck looks really good here. Slash, that's a really good slash. And look, they, they did scratch. This is the most I've ever liked Ace Duck. Like, what a cool figure. And they gave him his wings, of course. And yeah, I, I love the, <laughs> the cigar alternate head. I really love this alternate head with the tongue sticking out and the paint looks great on him. Oh, the sunglasses are removable. 
Oh, I like that. That's a great figure. And then Scratch, which I've seen go for over $10,000 on eBay, if you missed the original. I had the original. My mother gave it away. <laughs> Without my knowledge. Oh, she'll never hear the end of it. But anyway, that's, that's a great Scratch. So I'll take that. And Slash. Slash was also one of my favorites as a kid. So far, I've been mostly very happy with these. And then there's a set of Mausers. Here's a battle damaged one. And then let's look at the Power Rangers. So this is the latest. So here's non-transforming Dragon Sword. Counts the little teeny green ranger, and I like the missiles that come out of the fingers. That's a fun effect that we haven't actually had before. Look at the paint detail on this King Sphinx. Man, look at the wings. That's, that's crazy. And he gets two heads. That's a really good looking Rita. I wish Hasbro's face was a little bit more like this one. She comes with an alternate head, an evil Kimberly head. Well, a pretend evil Kimberly head. <laughs> she comes with her repulsoscope, green candle, alternate hands, Red Ranger. That is a much better Rocky. But I think Hasbro actually wins with Jason. I don't know about this face he's making. I like the hands. See? They, they kind of did the same thing here. Here's the... Uh, Automorph and flip head Red Ranger sword, and then uh, obviously a show accurate one. You get three versions of the Blade Blaster, and then again, here's the Automorph one, the all white version with a little peg here. Comes with this crystal, Dragon Dagger, Morpher, I, right? Like these are alternate arms to put the bands on. Yeah, that that's really cool what they've done here. Oh, and Kimberly, and you know, like some some of this, it's fair to say, why couldn't Hasbro have done that? And then in other cases, these cost about the same... Oh, and they gave her the cat. Here's a cat head and Kimberly head. In some cases, you could buy two Lightning Collection figures and a third one if you could find it on sale for the same price as one of these figures. So obviously, these are going to have more paint detail and accessories because you're paying more. You know, that that's the thing that always frustrates me when I see some of the comments. It's like... Yeah, if you double or triple the price, you're gonna get more. Like, everyone should understand that, right? <laughs> right? That, that's not too out there, I don't think. As far as, like, faces go, it, it doesn't cost any more to, to sculpt your face one way than another. You know, like, this this would have been a better face choice for Lightning Collection Rita. The one that we got makes me think of something you'd see on Robot Chicken. These cost $55. That's two to three Lightning Collection figures, depending on where you get them. So... You know, on one hand, these are definitely a bit fancier. And on the other, you're paying a lot more for them. So, you know, like with King Sphinx, these figures are more from Hasbro. They're like $32, $33. And there's like almost no paint on them. It, it seems like Hasbro could have done a little bit more with the paint. Just a little bit more. Again, here's Goldar. Goldar gets two heads, one with an open mouth. That's a good sword. Look, he even comes with that. Alternate hands. Oh, before I forget... I know someone's going to ask if I'm getting this. No. <laughs> I, I can't, even though it's really cool. And I, I do get why it's so expensive, but that I, I can't. Very cool. I appreciate all the detail that, that went into this. I, I wish I could. No turtle van for me. So I thought maybe I could do a quick animation with each figure just to show the motion. I, I, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I, I guess animation is not a thing you do quickly. All right, you've seen it. Now let's never speak of this ever again. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap up here. I didn't go too crazy with this video. We'll see how it does. I would love to do more turtle stuff on this channel, but we'll see. I, I certainly hope there's some interest because there's lots of good turtle stuff out right now from NECA, from Super 7. <sighs> Sorry, that was FedEx. Look what finally just showed up. So this came from GameStop. Looks like Yellow Zio's on its way too. Finally. All right, so I'm gonna end here. I actually did a really cool animatic with the NECA movie turtles. So most people did not see that. So I'm gonna just stick it at the end of this video. So that's coming up now and, and I'll be back with more Power Ranger stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my NECA animatic. Good night. Hey guys, the following animatic may not be suitable for kids. Hey Raph, where you going? Out to a movie. That okay with you? Ugh, where do they come up with this stuff? Hey, get a purse. Got it. Somebody stop them! Ugh. Mm -mm. Let's get out of here. What, what the hell was that? I don't know. That was a crime. You purse grabbing pukes. And this is uh, the penalty. Ugh. About a five minute game misconduct for roughing, pal. Well, 
Looks like you're the one that needs to be taught a lesson, pal. Class is pain 101. Your instructor's Casey Jones. Look, I don't want to fight you. Well, tough rocks, pal. <laughs> a Jose Conseco bat. Tell me, you didn't pay money for this. Ooh, that's it. Two for one sale, pal. Hey, what are you, some sort of punker? Nah, I hate punkers. Especially bald ones with green makeup. Wear masks over ugly faces. Ooh, no better! Strike one! Whoa, whiffer! Home run! Raphael wins! One, nothing! Well? New game, Roundhead. Cricket? Cricket? Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. I'll teach you. So long, freak. I got work to do. Freak! Ah, freak! I'm not finished with you. Damn!